of uh, cardiac fat accumulation. Mm -hmm. So the, it gets a lot of like fat around the heart. Okay. And so what we had been doing is we had been using um, this test to not just find VO2 max, but understand when we plotted the RERs, like what percentage of fuel use was happening with the assumption of, you know, like the, t the age old lust tables of like at which RER is what percent fat and carbohydrate oxidation. And mm -hmm. saw that the knockout mouse had an impaired ability to run once shifting into carbohydrate predominant metabolism. And so I did a bunch of other stuff in the paper, but at the end we just made this like observation like, oh, you know, the presence of the depot seems to affect cardiometabolics because we had treated them with the molecule they're missing and like recovered VO2 max and also saw the other stuff recovered but just didn't include it. It's like in the supplement. And so some reviewer was like, well, if you really want to make any claims about the depot and systemic metabolism because it's so small, you need to like take the fat depot and remove it and show the animals improved wild type or take it and transplant it into wild type animals from the knockout so that's what we've been doing this week oh, wow and so then in a month hopefully we'll be able to come back and retest okay and show that we can you know rescue the phenotype okay that way so now i'm just letting the values kind of come in and make sure they're like at baseline before starting it and just then uh, with the new software update things which is really awesome it's just automated the only thing i have to move is the, the inclination bar. which is about i think 